Hey guys, it's Candace. The rumors are true. I am free. So much to talk about. There is something very, very, very interesting regarding this chick right here. I have to set the scene for you guys. Carly also appears in Jefferson County courtroom today, Thursday afternoon, eight months after she vanished. The, this is the black therapist. She's now full on doing OnlyFans content. Joseph, you two, welcome to What's Brewing. My name is Chishi Zed. What's up, guys? Welcome, 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 welcome. So, real, real quick, we're just going to get into what's really been brewing recently in this Candace Owens situation of her getting fired by Daily Wire has been everywhere. So, we've got this guy, co founder of the Daily Wire. I'm not going to spend too much time on this specific topic just because we have a quick confirmation here from Candace Owens that we're going to get into. He tweeted that. Um, the actual tweet reads Daily Wire and Candace Owens have ended their relationship. So, of course, that was everywhere. The way Candace Owens was moving wasn't like somebody who had to check in with some CEO or anybody above her. I really was surprised at the decisions, pleasantly surprised, because the only reason I started talking about her here on the coffee pod. She started to move into the conversations surrounding dating, relationships, encouraging marriage, and um, trying to encourage 304s in particular to, to stop being 304s. Good luck with that. They don't drink coffee, as we know. But it was interesting to me. It makes sense. She is definitely a social conservative, which... I would call myself that in, in, in the aspects of relationships, for sure. And a lot of people, really the new people who she's attracting, identify with her when it comes to relationships, right? They're more conservative when it comes to their views in relationships. They may disagree with other political stances, which I know absolutely nothing about because I, at the end of the day, I'm not reversed in um, her political stance when it comes to other topics, I don't really care. I don't talk about things I don't really know much about. But again, she's been fired. Sounds like she um, pissed off somebody. Here's a video of her confirming what everybody has heard via this CEO of Daily Wire. And if you don't know the background, she had a rabbi recently on her podcast. They had an exchange of words. There were controversial opinions she had with um, who she was backing up with the whole Palestine-Israel um, conversation. And, of course, we have Ben Shapiro, who she pissed off, and who is also a founder of Daily Wire. Here's her confirming the news. Let's check it out. Hey, guys, it's Candace. The rumors are true. I am free. Welcome to my Locals page. So much to talk about. Obviously, I'm going to take a couple of weeks here just to rebuild and to refocus and to create something that is actually mine and something that can't be threatened or taken because it belongs to me. I can't tell you enough how much your support has meant to me over the years. We're just getting started. Join the Locals page, obviously, here. You can support me and my work as an independent journalist, as an independent podcaster. Um, we're still going to be doing five days a week. There'll be Tons of announcements coming in the next couple of weeks. And I guess the last thing I want to say is thank you. And for those of you that don't want to be on Locals and just want to support in any capacity, you can head to gocandice.com. Thank you, guys. All right. So that video there was shared and a lot of people responded back to the news. What I'm getting from most people who support Candace Owens, what I'm hearing is that they think she doesn't need anybody or any big platform. I heard people talking about her possibly um, moving to other places. Now, this is not her sharing this information. This is, these are just conversations people are having. But what I'm hearing from a lot of people is she can do a lot on her own and she attracts a lot of attention on her own because her, people are interested in topics that she's had, but really a lot of topics that she's currently having on her platform. So she got some of the comments here. This first comment says, congratulations, Candace Owens. This person says, see ya, Daily Wire. We're staying with Candace. Somebody else here says, you're better than the Daily Wire. Somebody else who says, we love Candace Owens. So a lot of support here from um, people who 
are in support with Candace Owens. Now, let's go check out responses from a platform like Twitter. I wish I used Twitter more, man. I really just post shorts on there. If you guys have seen and follow me on Twitter, that's what's happening right now. Um, but let's see some responses here to this post. All right, we'll check out this comment first. It says, saw this coming a mile away. Big Con is real. Um, somebody else here says, of course they did. Here's, a, here's another comment that says, five months ago, you said you didn't want to regulate her speech and she wouldn't be fired unless she broke the law or violated the terms of her contract. And another person here says, let's see, what's it say? One and a half. What is this? Somebody else who says, to learn who rules over you, simply find out who you are not allowed to criticize. Now, the comment here says, your speech, a little too free, huh? Hmm. All right, guys, so that's that. What do you guys think of Candace and her future? Do you think she made the right decision here? Do you think that she's going to be okay? Or do you think she will regret not having um, the ties to the Daily Wire comment down below. Okay, let us move on. We've got to get into another situation here. There is something very, very, very interesting regarding this chick right here. Okay, I'm not going to let that video play right now. I have to set the scene for you guys. Recently, I did a video along with many other content creators. So guys, here's the background on this situation in this video, right? It starts out with her first talking about how she wants to open up about a private relationship that she's had, but she doesn't really want to, but we know this is what chicks do on social media. Act like they don't, but they end up doing it, and then start opening up about like personal things, relationships, the typical stuff we see. But this was different. This was different. The video starts out with her praising this guy. It literally starts out with her talking about how amazing this guy was. Not only does she talk about how good he was, she, she talks about how he's still in that same video. I kid you not. You guys remember, if you saw it, is still sending her flowers. This coffee smells like shit. Still sending her flowers. And she said, not only was he good, he actually exceeded my expectations of what I set as my standard, he exceeded those. But I left him, why? Because I think I deserve better. <laughs> right? I left him because I think I deserve better. And my whole thing during that time was, when I was reacting to that video, it's like, well, if he exceeded your expectations, at what point do you, at what point do your expectations, once someone exceeds them, just reach delusion? This is what I was saying in this video. Check it out. Because we're already high to begin with. But my ex treated me so well in our relationship that it was like, if, if the next guy, he's made it harder for the next guy. Because if the next guy isn't coming like my ex or better, then off the rip, you can get to step in. Like, so, you know, breakups don't always have to be this, oh, I'm, I'm learning a hard lesson or I went through some traumatic experience. Not every relationship is going to end up in a marriage. And the ones that don't end up in marriage doesn't mean that it has to be messy or, you know, as long as you're upholding your standards within the relationship, it should be a positive experience. And honestly, my I agree with that. I, I agree with the fact that not every relationship is going to end up in marriage and there doesn't have to be toxicity involved in the marriage, but how are you getting out of relationships and your standards are even higher and higher and higher and higher? How high can you go? Because at some point you've reached a different level, which we call delusion. Guys know that my Sounds like a smart man to me. What do you guys think? You guys agreed. A lot of you guys agreed in the comment section. This person says her ex treated her so well, she fired him. It doesn't make sense. Somebody else here says she would be saying the same thing when she's 65 and still single, blah, blah, blah. So here's what happened. Her comment section underneath this video that she made were, were a bunch of women saying what you assume they're saying because most of them are out of their minds. They're saying things like, well, you did the right thing, girl. You go, girl. You deserve better. Oh, he was great. Oh, he's still sending you flowers. There was not actually huge problems. You just thought you deserved better, et cetera. She talks about how now she's letting God lead and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, they, they love to um, use God conveniently. But when you talk about submission and the Bible and all that thing, all of a sudden, all of a sudden you're speaking another language. And so then this happened. We have a content creator on TikTok who I've actually 
ha I've actually uh, showed one of his videos. He was one of the videos that I did where, you know, black people sharing things they were uncomfortable with. And um, you can go, of course, check that out. Um, here's what this guy did. He's, 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 right, he's, so I just broke up. here we go. We're, we're, we're going to get into this. Here's what this guy did. He titled his video. I broke up with my girl of five years. The video got over 3 million views, probably more by now. But he said the exact same things that she said in her video. Right. And <laughs> the women were furious. They were so angry that they took this video over to Twitter and started trashing this man for saying exactly what she said that they termed as empowering when she said it. But when a man said it, now it is toxic. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. Side note, I'll have his handle and a few other people in the pinned comment section. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So I just broke up with my ex of five years, and I literally have no complaints about her. Like, she was perfect, right? I used to, like, didn't have a car. Now I have a car. But when I didn't have a car, she used to let me ride around her car all day while she was at work. And I still didn't have a job. And I, I like, and it doesn't get any better than that. She used to pay for all the meals. She paid for the bills, all that, until I got my stuff together. But it was just something about her. It was just something about her I just couldn't comprehend. Like, I can't really explain it to y'all, but she was so perfect. But you know how somebody can be good to you, but they're just not that, that good person to you? Right. You know, like, they're that perfect person. Right. But it's just to me, it's more than just being a perfect person. Like, but they just wasn't that perfect person for me. Right, right. If you get what I'm saying, I feel you. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, and I know it doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna try to make it make sense. But she was so perfect in every aspect. She looked good, made good money. Like, I made thirty thousand that year, but she made one hundred and twenty thousand, mm. and she still humbled herself down to come mess with me. Wow. She buys me meals even to this day. Like, I go home. She'll text me, ask me how my day's going, and then like she'll door dash me some food while I'm just at the at the crib not doing anything. Now Im imagine you didn't know about that other video and you came across this video. You'd be mad. The chicks were upset. I saw another dude say he kind of did the same thing, except he wasn't trying to tell a story. He was just basically saying, That's like me saying, I broke up with a really good girl. She just uh, 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 and, and and I used her. In fact, she just gave me head last night, but she's not my wife. She just doe me up, bro. But, you know, I'm looking for my wife. Let's keep watching. And it's just like, I really can't. Uh, it's just, I have to make room for who I truly love. Like, even though she was all good and dandy and perfect, I have to make room for my wife. Like, Someone who I truly love, even though she might not be as good as this person over here, me and her goals just didn't align. So I'm just going to let her go and let, I'm going to let the bird fly. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm going to let, I'm going to let that go. Even though she was good to me. I'm going to let the bird I fly. I just have to let her go. Like she'll be good to somebody else. I, I had to really let her fly away. Like, honestly, she was a blessing to my life though. So perfect. Good girl. Let me drive her car for real every day. But she literally took care of me. This man's hitting all the checkpoints for what men who use and abuse women do. He said that she rides, she lets me ride around in her car while she's at work, pays all the bills. She's she's got the plan. Um, he's leaning on her. The weight's on her. <laughs> she literally upped my standards. She upped my standards. So now y'all know my standards are already high. She literally upped my standards. So now y'all know what's going on. On to the next. I'm about to find, I'm about to find my wife, y'all. For real. All right. So that was that. Don't tell me that shit didn't sound crazy, man. Do not tell me that didn't sound crazy. But for some reason, if a chick does it, if a modern woman's over here doing it to a bunch of women who are also void of caffeine, an essential nutrient to get your brain working right, it makes sense. Now let's check out some of these comments. Let's see what people had to say. But here's the thing. At this point, over three plus million views, 
people are catching on because he came out with another video later on being like, oh, I gotcha. So this comment here says, all I hear is when he got his stuff together, then he left her. Somebody else here says, ladies, this is why you cannot build a man up. He got a car now. He want to leave her. Somebody else here says, you were just not meant to be, and it's a good thing you broke up with her. Somebody else here says, know your worth, ladies. Uh, another person here says, this is my baby daddy. Another person here says, I'm confused on why you broke up with her. A different story from when a woman says something that sounds this delusional, but the only way they can see it is when a man says it. Here's another comment that says, both videos highlight the fact that there was zero feelings, just material, superficial, uh, surface things. Point made, another woman here says, and this is why I can't be the good person I am. <laughs> Never be a placeholder. Guys don't want stability. Somebody else here says, my question is, why do you have to wait for five years before you break up? Shira said, don't be the Bob the Builder. Another comment here says, how she sounds. Uh, here's somebody else who says, I hope she finds better. Anger. Another comment here says, women out here, listen to this. Be with the man who brings you higher. He said she humbled herself. For me, here's another woman who says, my ex did this and literally said, I have no clue what makes me feel like I was the dude. There was nothing wrong with you and you were perfect. So, of course, they're all in the feelings. Here's somebody else who says, imagine doing all that for a man and he going to go and talk about you like that. I think she meant to say talk about you. Um, Yeah, there you go. Right. Let's, you know what, just for the hell of it, let's go check out. Let's go check out Imani Talks. Video. Just so that there's a, almost a clear contrast with the difference in reaction um, to his video versus when she said what she said. Let's see. Where's that video at? Where's that shit at? Where's it at? Oh, I'm trying to see here if I can find it. Mm. I think I have to search it. Um, let me search it by name. Uh, let's see. Money talk. Break up. Something like that. I probably butchered her name. Did she delete the video? Yo, if he got her to delete the video, then he, he wins for sure. He's proven his point. Point made. Coffee serve, drink it. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. X was a Let me see. Money talk. Let me type in X. Can't believe this shit's this hard to find. Wow. She might have deleted that shit. That's crazy. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I, I don't give up easily, man. So I'm going to make sure. I feel like I'm not. What do you think? How do you feel about Cardi? Let's go, so I, let's go down. Let's go down. Let's you know, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you the truth, and this is from. So we can sit around and marry. Let's get into. This chick is loud. Ex. You know, whenever. I, where do we go from here? One thing that we all, know, a lot of, like, does ever. Let me tell you something. By the way, this chick now is trying to play victim. She's responded back to other people who disagree with a lot of the delusional stuff she said. She straight up does not like men in general, right? She, she's a typical feminist. Men are dangerous. They're evil to society. They commit all the crimes, etc. Name me one good thing men do. Um, so she has this disdain, that, 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 that modern disdain for just masculinity. 
in general. And what's crazy is she's now trying to play victim and act like, oh, people are so obsessed with me. Why are people is keeping my name? Dude, dude, you're out here saying crazy stuff. You're in the spotlight. You're romantic. People are going really... to talk about you. you... So like, and you're saying crazy shit. Is it risky? Damn, I think she might have deleted that video. We're not going to give up just yet. Let's go check the Instagram. I got to go check the IG. Make sure. It's just, it would be, it'd be too perfect if I can compare and contrast the videos one after the other. I just want to make sure if she did delete it, I can confirm it's gone. And that's a, that's a W for, for the coffee. I think she deleted the video. I don't see it. Mission accomplished. Okay, so obviously this whole topic blew like wildfire and everybody started to chime in. And um, shout out to another content creator here, which I also pinned to the top of the comment section, John Cannon. I'm going to see what he has to say because I, I like a lot of I his don't takes. Know if Let's check it out. Let's go. I don't know if y'all have seen what, what Mark been up to lately. He been, he been doing God's work. I'm gonna tag him. So the Imani talks, Imani talks girl, that girl. I remember she had a video, right? This is listen because I don't, I don't think anybody's understanding what's happening in its totality. Don't worry, y'all. I'm sitting in stop and go traffic. All the emergency vehicles is flying by. I'm hella late, so I got time. Somebody must have D I E D. -ed. What is going? Anyway, I have seen like ten vehicles. So. The Imani Talks girl, I didn't really pay no attention to it, but she had a video come out, I think a few weeks ago, where she was basically breaking down how she had a, a longtime boyfriend who, her words, not mine, he was so good to her, he worshipped the ground she walked on. Right. Her already high standards were exceeded by this man. She doesn't know what it was. But it, she, he simply was not her husband. And right. so I saw that. I didn't, I, I didn't make a video about it. Y'all know I make a video about everything. But I saw that and I was like, what the? F anyway, I didn't even make a video about it. I was like, that is crazy. So Mark, Mark been on some shit lately. Y'all go follow him. I'm a tag, bro. He say, let me go ahead and do it. Y'all know, know Mark good for the parody. But he stuck it through. He usually laugh at the end like, y'all know I'm bullshit. He stuck it through and he said all the same exact things she said. Right? I just had a five year relationship. I had to break up with her. Uh, she was just too perfect. You know, she made a hundred thousand. I made thirty thousand. She came down and f with me. She used to let me drive her car around, but now I got my own shit. She raised my already high standard. And right. at first I didn't really care too much about the controversy until I saw how the women responded to him. Oh, you freed her. Oh, she could do so much better than you. This is why we don't date men right now. This is why we choosing to be single. Woody 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 woo. Then I went and I looked at her video. In her comment section saying the same exact things that he said just a different gender and the women were like yeah girl sometimes you just know a woman's intuition is never wrong and it's kind of crazy because you have to understand if you have already high standards her words not mine and someone exceeds everything you expected out of a romantic partner mm. her words not mine how can you say it's not good enough that that really means like you have a gluttonous personality. Like you can say, I want, I want the world. Someone can give you the world, the moon, the stars. Now you want a galaxy. Now you want the galaxy. That's the type, that's what it sounds like. That's why I didn't make a video about it because it sounds so absurd. Women can only see the wrong in something when a man does it though. And that's scary. Big shouts to Mark. <laughs> Keep doing your, that boy going hella viral lately. I don't know if you. All right, so. Let's check out some of the comments here in response to what John Ken had to say right there. First comment says, I knew, oh, okay, Scarface Mark right there. Of course, I have both these guys pinned to the top of the comment section. Says, I knew it was going to happen. Shloki stopped effing with him because he was having financial problems or something. Here's somebody else who says, not going to lie, he on a 2000 shack run right now. Somebody else who says, um, Bro been cooking and double standards are blatant. Okay, so there we go. Very interesting stuff. And next here, what we're going to see is this topic got so heated 
that Twitter even got involved in this whole situation. Of course, I'm curious. What what do you guys think so far with this turn out? Are you surprised? Check it out. I heard I got them folks on Twitter. He- Shout out to Scarface Mark right here. Let's let's turn the volume up though. Let's go. I heard I got them folks on Twitter heated. <laughs> I heard I got them mad, y'all. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, eh? If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, eh? Oh, my goodness. Listen, this man was with a woman for five years, and the whole time she pretty much was like his mom, lending him her car, paying for his stuff. She made 120K, and he made 30K. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Listen, he says she built his standards up. She was perfect, but not perfect for him. He's ready to find himself a wife. Listen, I made it on Twitter, and they was eating me up, y'all. Listen, Shorty right here gonna say, "Yikes! This makes me worry about who his next target is." <laughs> oh, like they don't really know this is a joke, y'all. But you gotta love publicity. You gotta love it. Listen, all publicity is good publicity, whether it's negative or positive. Listen, if you gotta cap and make people mad to prove your points, do it. Let this be your sign. We did like seven million views in in like a day. Listen, yeah. do it. Twitter's good for, I mean, um, TikTok's good for that, Um, the views for sure. I'm now curious. I kind of want to go see what they're talking about over there on. Okay, here we are. Scarface Mark. Okay. So top, okay, so this is the top post here four hours ago. I mean, this should still pop in right now. Um, Headline, why you must avoid poor men. And it goes on to say, reality TV star, Doan Gender, whatever the hell. Let's just check out some of these comments. Men like this shouldn't make you build with a man you love. There's a lot of evil people in the world, but we shouldn't judge new people in our lives by the sins of others. Don't bleed on who didn't cut you. So that she's like, don't, don't. Just because we have a rotten apple here doesn't mean every man's like this. Right, he's he's evil, but they're not all like this. So they're eating the shit up. Of course, they're buying it. Here's somebody else who says, "Man had a good woman and fumbled." Um, somebody else who says, "Poor man don't suffer. Even poverty rejects." Da, da, da. I'm looking for the chicks. I want to see the double standards. Here, let's see. This person says, "Scarface Mark just completed one of the best social media experiments." Yeah. Hilarious, LOL. So this woman says, there was nothing wrong with Imani's video where she said her ex was a good guy. She didn't say he was good. She said he was great. Not only did she say that he was great, she said that he surpassed her standards, bro. Imagine you setting strict guidelines and you have an employee and you're running a business and they surpass that and you fire him and say, you know what? You just showed me that my standards are too low. She goes on to say, but they were ultimately, ultimately not compatible. Scarface is an idiot. No, no, that's the, you, you're just angry. She never said that. Yo, insane, crazy. Of course, curious to know what you guys think. This next topic here that definitely deserves some attention. Do you guys remember the female black therapist here's what's insane about this i'm 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 on i'm i'm borderline not wanting to talk about this topic on my channel just because of the how how sexual the content actually is but of course we're analyzing this for analysis education um we're not encouraging only fans content but this chick you're going to notice that I've blurred out her hands there. I'm not going to tell you what they're grabbing onto. But this chick, full on, that this is the black therapist who blamed black men for getting her fired because she violated HIPAA laws and all types of stuff um, by talking about people who she was working with in negative light and lost her job because she was talking down on black men. 
she's now full on doing OnlyFans content. I, I have a theory because I went on her Instagram and I said, how is she even allowed to post this stuff on her IG? On some of her posts, she's completely exposed. And all I'm thinking of is, how is this even allowed on here? Isn't this too sexual for Instagram? I just didn't understand it. And so I go back to check on the post again, and it's been removed. I'm like, hold on, did Instagram remove it? Or was it the comments that were telling her to chill out and relax and have some self-respect? The last video I did of this chick, I actually felt bad for her. Let's see here. Let's see if anything she posts. See, right here. I, I had the link here to one of her posts. It says something. I'm sorry this page isn't available. The link you followed may be broken, whatever. There was a post here of a bunch of comments of people pretty much telling her to chill out and to have some self-respect. And she's, of course, kind of championing what she's doing under the cloak of body positivity, self-love, and all that. And it's just, it's just, it's, it's looking real bad for this chick, man. If anything, and I say if anything because I'm getting the idea that even when someone may try to talk to a woman like this and say, hey, social media is probably not best for your mental health. And she's been open and talked about struggles with that. Maybe you should get off it, etc. She just seems like the type that really wouldn't even listen. People have to stop going online to try and fix their problems. The internet's a great place to have conversations, to hear other people's opinions on different ideas, but when it comes to your private life, when you put it out there, it's out there. It's out there and now people can talk about it. This has now gone from, oh, this chick shouldn't have done what she did and I think it's best that she faced some consequences to, it's not looking good, I personally said, I don't wish, you don't wish for anybody to crash and burn. That's that. I thought that was pretty crazy. I'm trying to see if she's, uh, if she's somewhere, if she's still on TikTok. Oh, shoot. She's on TikTok. The account is private. Which also makes me think that there could be some stuff happening back there that's also adult content. This is honestly, at this point, a sad train wreck to watch. And I don't even even closely by the excuse of black, you black men did this to her. Look, now she had no choice but resort to doing P-O-R-N. That is insane. That's insane. You're telling me there's nothing else you could have done but get on OnlyFans. Nothing else. Couldn't get a job somewhere at Target or some shit. Just doesn't make sense, man. All right, so... Up next here is this conversation of Carly Russell. Carly Russell. So we've got a video here of what is the sentencing of Carly Russell. Let's check out this caption here. This is Carly Russell, and the caption reads, Carly Russell appears in Jefferson County courtroom today, Thursday afternoon, eight months after she vanished from the side of the interstate 459 and sparked a nationwide panic and asked for mercy as she entered guilty plea to two misdemeanors. Guys, I kid you not. Carly Russell, when you look at this chick and you know absolutely nothing about her, I remember actually supporting the whole search and rescue thing. I, I saw this and I saw the face. I said, oh man, poor lady. No one wants anybody to be kidnapped. I don't want women out here who look innocent and, 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 and you know, I'll be honest with you. If I hear that, 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 that you were messing around with people who are involved in criminal activity and hanging around that 24-7 and all of a sudden something bad happens to you, I feel bad, but it's also like, what were you doing? hanging around that group of people. Like we've got to learn to 
um, understand that our actions have consequences to an extent. But this was different. I remember seeing this and I liked the post. I commented something like, oh, this is terrible. I hope they find her, etc." She had everybody out here feeling bad for her. And she also had people feeling bad for her here in this courtroom, as we are about to see. I want to show you guys right now the power of the female tear. The power of tears. When a woman cries. Let's check it out. Yes, the misdemeanor offense of making a false police report. How do you plead? Guilty. And in CC 23-889, as to the misdemeanor offense of making a false police report, how do you plead? Guilty. Are you satisfied that your attorneys, Mr. Emery Anthony, Richard Jaffe, and Lucky Milad, yes, are good and competent attorneys and have represented you well? Yes, sir. Are you satisfied with the plea agreements in these cases? Yes, sir. You're pleading guilty of your own free will? Yes, sir. Well, I find that your plea was made knowingly and voluntarily, and based on your plea, I find you guilty. Uh, before sentencing, first, is there anything uh, that the Attorney General's office would like to add? First of all, this case has always been about respect for law enforcement and respect for this community as a whole. Ms. Russell faked a kidnapping, duped the community, and contrived this situation. We still, Judge, don't know to this day where she was, how she got there, what she was doing, with whom she was doing it with. It is <laughs> this chick said where she was, what she was doing, and who she was doing it with. Tell me that doesn't sound like she's basically saying we don't know who was clapping those cheeks while we were over here crying for you. And look at this woman's face, bro. Look at that face right there. That's the look your girl gives you when she starts losing an argument. <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep watching. It is our contention that she should get some jail time. I understand that it's a misdemeanor. I do. But because of the effect that it has had on law enforcement as well as on the community, we feel even if it's weekends in jail or... I don't know, man. It's, it's just pulling on my heartstrings. How are you guys doing? Don't send her to jail. Not in jail, but some sort of incarceration is warranted in this case. Your Honor, I want to genuinely apologize for my actions and the resulting negative impact infl inflicted onto others. Where are the tears, though? That's all I'm going to say. Where are the tears? Man, women, women can be so skillful with that fake crying. And guys just fall for that. I made a grave mistake while trying to fight through various emotional issues and stress. I am extremely remorseful for the panic, fear, and various range of negative emotions that were experienced across the nation. I want to, to specifically acknowledge and take accountability for the pain and embarrassment that I inflicted upon my family, my church family, friends, neighbors, community, and all of those who were directly involved in search efforts for me. I She's sniffling. Not one teardrop. I don't see snot coming out. We need snot. We need tears. Give us that Vi Viola Davis cry. I also extend my sincerest apologies to the Hoover Police Department and every other law enforcement agency and personnel for the position that I put them in and for the resources used. I absolutely regret my decision and in hindsight wish that I had cried for help in a totally different manner. My prayer is that I will be extended grace and given the opportunity to redeem who I truly am and restore the positively esteemed character that I have worked so hard to attain for the 25 years of my life prior to this incident. I wholeheartedly can say that I've never had any malicious intent to hurt anyone. And I pray that you will feel my sincerity and that as I prepare to pick up the pieces and go on to restore my life, that you will witness the fruition of grace. What you did was you, you wasted a lot of government resources and, and you're going to pay for that. We need to reserve our jails for people who are genuinely a, a threat to the community. Although we're very upset about what you've done, you're not a threat to the community. I'm not gonna treat you any differently than I would treat any other first time nonviolent misdemeanor offender. Accordingly, uh, it is the judgment and sentence of this court uh, that you're sentenced in each of these cases to six months in the county jail. Uh, these sentences are consecutive with each other and these sentences are suspended. You're placed on probation for 12 months, it's supervised probation. It's a condition of your probation that you pay full amount of restitution, which is 
$974.88 paid to the city of Hoover. I'm also sentencing you to serve, and this is a condition of your probation, 100 hours of community so service. I understand that you're currently getting mental health counseling, is that right? Yes, sir. It is a condition at this point of your probation that you continue getting mental health counseling, and I'd like to see some proof that you're getting that counseling when we come back. I didn't hear anything about coffee. She's not going to make it. Let's check out these comments. Now, what I want you guys to see here, which I'm about to compare and contrast, are the comments when they see the, 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 the fake crying versus when it's just them reporting the news, right? The power of the, power of the female tears. This first comment says, we forgive you, Carly. Get better. Somebody else here says, the embarrassment and the fine is enough. Bless her heart. Here's another comment that says, with the praying uh, hands, judge made the right decision. Get better, Carly. Somebody else who says she was remorseful. I prayed for her mental health. Another comment here says, I only hurt for Ania's mother. Can't believe they took her mom through that after what happened to her daughter. Here's somebody else who says, let's wrap her arms around this young lady. <laughs> oh, man. Um, somebody else here responded back. Another chick agreed. She was crying out for help and unfortunately went about it the wrong way. Bless her. Somebody else here added, her eyes are dry. Now, 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 listen. Do you think, and this is just me making the point that, you know, the, the women crying is just a powerful thing for a lot, for society. Do you think if you were a man over here crying tears of, of Jesse Smollett get on the, got on the stand and started boo-hooing, that people would be like, let's comfort him and hold hands and whatever? Nah. You could say, though, that Jesse Smollett also didn't take accountability. But, again, there's also a lack of proof there in his situation. Um, but at the end of the day, in this world where people like to pretend like men and women are equal, and don't believe it, bro. Men and women are very different, and you get treated differently. Do not believe the hype. Now, here's the contrast. Here's just the post with her face on the shade room says breaking Carly also placed on 12 months supervision probation after pleading guilty and kidnapping hoax judge says it would be a waste of government resources to put you in jail check out these comments top top comment here spiritual word says lock her up somebody else who says when the jail don't want you you know you're the problem here's somebody else who says sometimes my mama used to say i ain't even gonna whoop you because this situation whooped you enough Wow, I see what she's talking about here. Somebody else says, damn, even the judge system rejected her. Somebody else who says, I'm still stuck on just lying for no reason. With the crying emojis. Like she really made all that up. OMG, we were searching the woods for the baby and everything. What the F? Hey, there's, 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 there's more here. Hold on, hold on, there's more. Let's go down. This next comment says, LOL, I'm happy to see a black woman get white privilege. Somebody else here says she should be embarrassed for the rest of her time here on earth. Kidnapping hoax is crazy. Somebody else here added she don't need jail time. She needs couch time with a therapist, etc. That's that. What do you guys think of this Carly Russell situation and how it turned out? Listen, guys, that's everything we have so far to talk about on today's episode of What's Brewing. Of course, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. I appreciate you. Till next time. I'm out. Peace.